Hallelujah. Amen. We want to appreciate the Lord for this day. Truthfully, God has done us good. This day. We have come on this day of Tuesday. I want to appreciate the Lord for this opportunity I got once again. I want to appreciate our Bishop Kabona for giving me this opportunity again. I appreciate him for that. I also want to appreciate this opportunity you've given me. I want to appreciate because we are in the Church of Gospel Messengers. I thank the Lord for the good work he's doing in this church. Bishop Dithan Kadu loves you also. Pastor Elijah loves you too. And the media team also trusts you. And the other ministers, including the interpreters. We appreciate the good work that you're doing. All ministers, we appreciate the good work you're doing. Thank you so much for serving God. Each one in their capacity. At this very moment, let us get into the word of God. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this opportunity you've given me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because you're going to speak to us in this prayer group. And we are going to continue to come out when we have gone to another level in the name of Jesus. And everybody else says, Amen. Children of God, the intercessors, we are back again on this day of Tuesday. We have come to intercede to the Lord. When we are in this prayer group, we touch a number of things. And we know God is doing many things in our lives. I have been telling you recently of awakening in the morning. And I believe God has done a tremendous work in you. And in our lives too. If we are to be good intercessors, prayer always. Today I am going to talk about prayer. If we are to intercede to the Lord and we get to certain issues, we need to do something among ourselves because an intercessor, the Lord uses you to pray for the country, to pray for the church, to pray for your wife, to pray for your church, to pray for your pastor, to pray for whatever concerns and you're very like but you cannot be such a channel until you as an intercessor you work in yourself so we need to work out ourselves so that our prayers can be answered because God has entrusted us to be able to help out many people those who know us and those who don't know us. Because as an intercessor, God places many things in your life. And some people may never know that you prayed for them. And yet it is you who has prayed for them to get to where they are. But for you to be a very good channel, you need to first work out yourself as an intercessor. When you do that, God will be able to help the people he's supposed to help. Because I want to encourage you that God has entrusted you. Now that he has entrusted you, he cannot entrust you when you're not upright. Let us begin with James chapter 5. James chapter 5. No kusaba kwa kukiriza kuli rokola omuruwa de ne mukama wafe alimu yimusa ero banga yakola ebibi bilimu jibu wako. 
Ono yali musabinga basabira omulwadde. This was a prayer to a sick person. Bagamba omwega yirizi. It is said that an intercessor. Oyino kusaba mu nsabe zenjaulo. You ought to pray in different ways. Na yo mtu asaba o asabira omuntu ngamba de mulwadde. But a person who prays for a sick person. Omwega yirizi nga wega yiri akuru omuntu nga mulwadde. If you are interse- an intercessor for Oyino kubera no kukiriza you've got to have faith that that person will be Kubango well. Omwega irizingo, sabira muluwade, toina kusabanti hata mukama, uh, omuluwade alimuchifobwe chitine, inga toku kiliza, toku lina. You are not supposed to pray for someone who is sick that they're in such a situation. Echiso kera dalo omwega irizi, oino kwega iri akatona, na yongo kiliza, te omuluwade oyogo sabira, agenda kuona. You must intercede before the Lord know, having faith that the person will be well. Era katonda, avera mwesi gwa, bobango sabeno kukiliza, omuluwade oya ona. And God is faithful once you have faith that sick person will be well. Agami enti mukama wafe agenda kumuyimusa era agenda kumu nebwa banga ine bibi bigenda kumujibwako. The Bible says that the Lord will raise him up and if he has committed sins he will be forgiven. Tukirireko wansi. Let us continue. Ntikale mwatuliragane bibi bya mwe mwe kana mwe ka musabiragane nga mulyoke muone. Okusaba kwa omuntu omutukirivu kuyinza nyo mukukola kwako. Therefore confess your sins. Kakati omwega yirizo omulimu omunene gwo ino kubera na gwo. Now as in to say so the greatest job you have. Oh ino kwekolamu omulimu is to work out yourself. Oh ino kufuba okukola ku bulamu bwo. You need to work on your life. Kubanga katondo ono gwe tusaba mutukuvu. Because the God we pray to is Katondo ono gwe twegayirira mutukuvu. He is a holy God. Katolo kubanti omusajjo ono gwe tusaba mutukuvu. Because the person we pray to is holy. Ataya gana tufuka mikwano je. And he wants us to be his he wants to work with us. Agamba omwega yirizi aino kuberanga asaba. He says an intercessor must be a prayer. Na yengo kusaba kwe kuli mu obutukirivu. But in your prayer there must be righteousness. Kubanga Bible yegambye. Because the Bible has said. Cyo kusaba kwa muntu wa mutukirivu. That the prayer of a righteous man. Kuyinza nyo do uh, goes mukukola kwako in its e chitegezo working. kusaba kwa muntu wa mutukirivu it means the prayer of right kuina amanyi manji nyo has great power omuntu ayinzo kusaba na sura chiro chirambanga asaba someone can spend the whole night praying ne katonda nata mudam but the lord may not answer nayo muntu wa mutukirivu najja na asaba bigambo bitono but a righteous person can make katonda na muulira and the lord hears kubanga baba baina network anga bakwatagana ne katonda because they've got a network to connect with kubanga red ono mutukuvu because the one praying is holy and the one they are praying to Shofela is banga holy. Bible yegami eti okusaba kwa muntu wa mutukirivu kuyinza nyo that is why the bible says that a prayer of a, f- a fervent uh, person nalinsoba so nalinsoba so mukataba kamunga ka luzungu i was reading one ngakoka gambira dalant kulina amanyi manji nyo and it was saying it has great power chitegeza nti omuntu omtukirivu batandiko kusaba it means when a righteous person okusaba kwe kuduka speed the prayer runs fast erane kukolerawo and it works immediately kati abega yirizi so the intercessor wetu banga tunega yili akatonda if we are to intercede katonda naba ako bya Kola. And the Lord will do something. Tuino kuberanga tu twekola mu mulimu. We need to work at our Nga tutambulira mu butukirivu. We have to work in righteousness. Wetu natambulira mu butukirivu. When we work in righteousness. Tujja kusaba katono. We shall pray. Nga katonda atuulira. God will answer us. Ata tuinzo kusabere nyo. Yet we can also pray a lot. Kubange ensonga za fe katonda bwono jana ensonge munga ajikolako. Because when you come with an issue God works on it. Ate kumutima gwonga alete endala. Then he will place another issue on your heart. Ngane endale yo na yonga katonda ajikolako. And then that one God also God will work. Oja gendo kwesa nganga wabadonge na kusabira chintu chimungo sabide bintu mukaga. You may find that you had intended to pray for one thing but you may pray for six. Chovola bagoba ito omwega irizita abera teyesa teyesa bila yeka. That is why an intercessor doesn't only pray for their own issues. Aba sabira ebintu ebirala. They pray for other issues. Ate na sabira na balala katonda bayagala abasabire. And then praise for the other people God wants him or her to pray for. Kubanga botandiko kufukamira okusaba. Because when you kneel down katonda ateka wo rutindo. God brings up a channel. Na manyona asaba yani. And as who is this person? Na atandiko kukuereza ye byoyagala asabe osabe. And God begins to send you the items he wants you to pray over. Chovola bantu oyinzo kubanga ina list jo uliyango yagala osabire. So you you may realize you may have a list you want to pray for. Na yebo otuka masoga katonda ngo oli mutukuvu. But when you get 
get before the Lord when you are holy. Sometimes God will just change over what you And he will give you items that you need to pray for. I will not forget one time I was in my prayer I was in intercession. God took me to India. I have never gone to India physically. But my spirit was taken to India. I began to see the Christians in India the way they were suffering or being persecuted. There are, there are many years when I prayed for that. Those people did not actually believe in the Bible. I began to intercede. And yet I had my own list that I had brought forth. That night I was going to pray for you. I began, I began to intercede for India where I have never been. I began to find out because it was a number of years ago. I asked Kabona what is going on in India. He began to tell me that the type, the way they pray, they, they just hide their Bibles if they are even to but pray. It had, but it had just come to me when I to pray for India. So I began to intercede I insisted and interceded. But time came. I began to find out what was happening about the place I was praying for. And I began to read the scriptures that the Christians over now I began to get news that the Christians over were no longer bad love and they were now praying. So as an intercessor you need to have an open ear. First of all you need to purify, cleanse yourself. Number two you must have an open ear have open ears to listen to what your master tells you. Because your master also has his issues he wants you to pray over. Yet you could also have your own concerns. So what I'm requesting you this day, let us work out ourselves. Let us take time about our lives. God is going to work in our lives. God is going to work on the issues that we pray for. He will come and walk over them. Amen. Nehemiah chapter 1. Let us see this intercessor Nehemiah. Nehemiah chapter 1. Nehemiah chapter 1. When Nehemiah was going to build the wall of Jerusalem, he first took a step to go and do a research on what he was going to do. The task he, that was ahead of him was to construct the Bible temple. The Bible talks about it. The Bible talks about us as intercessors that there is something that we are building. Now, Nehemiah, because he was going to build the temple, the biggest task he began by doing, he went out at night and he went out he saw the walls had been broken. He saw it all pushed. He saw it wasn't looking nice. And he said the first thing I will begin with is to clean up. Every child of God, wherever you are, remember you are an intercessor. You need to first go and do the work on the issues that you're going to intercede about. When Nehemiah was going to rebuild the temple, he knew the biggest task to begin with the temple. He had to first cleanse. To cleanse the work and the people he was going to work with. Nehemiah said this. Nehemiah Enyo, Jolly. So te tuwa kwa ta biragiro vyo. Ne wanku bade amate kago. Ne wanku bade emisango emisango je. Walagira omudu o musa. Je walagira omudu o musa. Nkwega iri de jukira e chigambo che walagira omudu o musa. Ngoyogeranti. Bwemona asobianga. 
Naba sasa nyizanga dala muma wanga. Amina. Amen. Nekeme ya chiasuko kukola. What Nehemiah began by doing. Waliwe ya jana mugamba. Someone came and told him. Na bali Yerusalem yeo bali batia. He asked, he consulted what was happening with the people of Jerusalem. Neba mubu ulire chari Yerusalem. And they told him what had befallen Jerusalem. Naba aba yudu anewa mga anti ya chiri yeo. Bugu wa Yerusalem ya menye se menye se. They told him that the walls of Jerusalem had fallen. Nehemiah yango jacho joke duwa muliro. And its gates had been burned. Ere chiri yeo si chiru unji. And whatever is there isn't good. Nekeme ya na gamba. Nehemiah said. Kwe muba anga mujiu debi tuli. If there are so many hosts that are going to begin back with. The Bible says Nehemiah repented for his own people. He said we are going to start over in Jerusalem. That we sinned. Because what had caused the destruction of Jerusalem. It was bad. People were behaving in a certain way. Some were marrying Gentile women. And were doing un, uh, unlawful things in Jerusalem. Others were giving faulty uh, sacrifices. So what Nehemiah did What he began by doing as an intercessor He began by repenting He said we did very corrupt things We sinned We did unacceptable things We did not follow your commandments We did not do your statutes Nehemiah began by repenting I want to tell you intercessors Let us work out ourselves You will not ask God to oppress you Not until you purify the temple In which you pray Not until you purify the temple In which you pray Not until you purify the temple In which you pray Nehemiah was going to build the Jerusalem that had been broken. Maybe you are also an intercessor, but there are certain things that have broken around your life. But for you to, uh, to, uh, uh, to plead or to God over other people, you first need to repent. Children of God, let us work out ourselves. Many people will pray. But inside us, we are all full of sin. And we will pray and intercede, but we don't wish to be well. We will pray and intercede, but we are full of envy. We intercede, but we do not forgive. We intercede, but we are full of hatred. We intercede but we are full of bad habits. God ends up wanting to, uh, to respond over the people we are interceding for. But he cannot respond. Because the intercessors are not upright. This year 2022. Let us work out our faith. Let us work out our faith. If you are really to intercede on your own job. If you are going to intercede for your work. If you are going to intercede for your home. If you are going to intercede for your ministry. If you are going to intercede for your ministry. First, work out yourself before you pray. Nehemiah repented. He said, we sinned. We did a very corrupt thing. We have done so many things that are displeasing. And God heard the prayer of Nehemiah. Nehemiah hadn't yet started constructing. I want to tell you, my friends, if we are to construct anything that will stand, let us put ourselves in order. Because the person we are praying to, he is holy. And he listens only to holy people. That is the network he wants to say to him. He wants you to be his friend. He wants to tell you certain things. He wants to reveal something to you. But he cannot reveal them to you. Unless you are holy. Amen. Amen. That is where Nehemiah began. Nehemiah chapter 13 verse 30. Bwentyo bwe nabalongosa eri banagwanga 
bonna nente kawo ebisanja byaba kabona ne byaba levi buli muntu mu mulimu gwe mokama afe bazibwe ne kama ya bamalo kwene nyanga ye after nehemiah repented as himself na itaba kabona he called on the priest na bagamba bakabona mwategede he said priest do you know mo jetu erongo se and we also cleans ourselves bakabona ne bajja the priest came all the priests from different provinces the Jews came they all began to repent they all began to put themselves right they all began to work out themselves but that was before they had to start remember everybody had to start remember everybody had to start but before they started construction they began by putting themselves right after doing that na leo kaba ita nabaga katuge natande ko kuzimba he called them and said now we are going to construct mokama feba ziwe amen bobango nega yirira ku ruwa muntu omulala if you are in to intercede on behalf of elders eraka tonda nadamu omuntu omulala ngabu omusabide and god answers the person the way you have prayed omwega irizisoka wekole mu omulimu you as an as an intercessor wetu banga tunasabire gwanga if we are to pray for the nation e gwanga enkuba netonya that the rains may come mu bisera byayo during their season tu ino kuberanga feke nyike nyini tusose ne twekola mu mulimu we need to first work out ourselves wetu banga tunasabira banafa abatu wade nsonga zaabwe zebalina if we are to pray for our brethren who have given us their issues nga prayer group as a prayer group tu ino kusoka ne twekola mu mulimu we need to work out ourselves ne keme ya itabanne nehemia called his na bagamba te wali wochigenda kuberawo and he said nothing else will happen okujja konga tumazo kuerongosa not until we put ourselves in order ne berongosa nga group they clean themselves as well. they began to pray for others they began to pray that the they were all they began to do the job prayer is a job and every time you pray things come into the action things that are had fallen begin to start you have to pray for the business that has broken because businesses that had collapsed Wabawa makaga menye sene gadamu ne gabera bulunji Wabawa family zono ne sezi tabuse ne zidamu ne ziberawo Families that were no longer in agreement begin to come together Wabawa bintu binji mugwange byono ne sene bidamu ne biberawo Many things that had gone astray in the nation Na yebe byona binaba era wo bitia But how will they come back to the right track Okujja konga twega yirite Not until we intercede Atenga tuli batukuvu And yet we are right Atenga twekoze mu omulimo Until we have done work in our Buli mwaka every year abega idizi tubekengeri je tuchusa amwe nkola za fe as intercessors let us find ways of changing our style katonda asobola kutuulira so that god can listen to us abega idizi bobanga wega yirira katonda if you were to intercede before the lord oyinzo okufuna ebikusomoza you may face challenges ngadala mutufu oli mutukuvu surely you may be right ngera toli ko cha kunenyezebwa and you may be blameless naye atano ofuna ebikusomoza but you may face challenges katulaye munekeme ya 2 olunyole 15 let us see nehemiah chapter 2 verse 15 awone nyambu ka chiro awali akagga ne netegereza bugwe Nenchuka ne nyingira mu mulyango ogwa mu kiwonvu ne nkomawo bwentyo 10 na mkaga Abakulu ne batamanya je nagenda ne wankubadde je nakola era nali sinababulira abayudaya ne wankubadde bakabona ne wankubadde abakungu ne wankubadde abafuga ne wankubadde abalala abakola omulimu ne kame ya chiyakola what nehemiah did nagenda chiro he went by nine omwega ilizo ino kubera omukesi as a, 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 an intercessor you need to be a spy oh you know oh you know kuketa munse yo moyo kati ngenda kusabira ji you need to spy in the spiritual world what am i going to pray for nekeme ya chi akola na asoka na agenda chiro na aketa nehemiah went by night and in spirit kati awa mazo kwerongosa so he had cleansed himself kati na agenda na aketa so he went out to agenda spy agenda okutukeyo when he got there nga buli chintu chona chona chayo noneka he realized everything had been put to waste echa dakod nekeme ya na uliro mugugu 
What he felt omugugu next was a burden. He felt a heavy burden. If you were to be a good intercessor, then you must be somewhere to live. You don't see things and say, well, they had to happen. You need to have a way to live. When Nehemiah reached and saw that the wall had been broken, he did not just laugh. He said, well, I have seen whatever I had to expect. Now I am going back to Nehemiah. Nehemiah came back with a lot of anger. First of all, he had a burden. He saw what he had seen had to be constructed. He began to intercede. He said, God, give me wisdom. How am I going to do this? God gave him this. He went out and made the Jews. He, he met out other people who were going to come to him. He met out other people who were going to come to him. He had now gone to the prayer group after seeing whatever he had seen. He told the members of the prayer group of what he had seen. So they had now gathered together as the prayer group. They had begun to pray. The wall has to be constructed. There is something that you may see and it is really big. You need other people to join up with you. You need other people to stand with you. Nehemiah understood that he was not going to build the wall by himself. But he needed other people to help him. And he got these other people and they helped him. So today we see our country Uganda. There is something you may see in the nation. You may see that 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 you may see what he or she has said. Nehemiah felt the pain and he gathered his colleagues and they prayed and began construction work. They said let us construct a new We need to work out. There are certain things you may have seen in the nation and they need immediate action. There are certain things you may have seen in your family and they require immediate action. There are things you may have seen there are things that you may have seen at your workplace and they need immediate action. There are many things you may have seen among your friends but they require immediate action. There are certain things you may have seen among the brethren and they need immediate action. That in case you do not do it immediately, those things will stay. And God will blame you as an intercessor. Let us be intercessors and intercessors. Brethren as intercessors let us have the way. Once you have cleansed yourself, have a wait on you and begin immediately. Do not wait. Because when you wait, something else bigger will happen. When I lost my mom, but before she died, I just knew everything else that was yet to happen. But I took I took some laziness. I saw her taking something. So I called her. I asked her, is there anybody who brought you anything to eat? I had another dream when she had died. So I got a dream, uh, an idea in me that maybe I would need her to pick her. To follow her. The following day, I procrastinated. I kept on pushing further because I thought she was okay. But if I had gone immediately, sometimes I feel it in my heart and say, probably that old lady wouldn't have died at such a time. But I had seen very well everything. I saw everything. The but I saw everything. The but I saw everything. I took it lightly and rather called as as okay. Okay. Now when she fell sick, I kept on pushing to another day that I would go. 
But because the enemy had encompassed her, she had Abe to die. As intercessors, they no to Do not procrastinate. Work immediately. Nehemiah immediately called upon his colleagues and they even began to build. Amen. Nehemiah chapter 4. Sanu balati netobia, naba walabu, naba moli, naba sudoni, bweba ulirango mulimu, goku da biriza bugwe, wa yerusale mi gugenda, gwe yongera, ngebi tuli, bita nude o kuziba, kale, neba sungu wala nyo. Echa dako. Nebako neba nebe koba anabo na wamu o kuja o kuruana ne yerusalemi, no kuchisa samaza. Mokama feba ziwe. Amen. When they, be, when they heard that these men had escaped, they had worked out themselves. They had taken good, a good look at the wall of Jerusalem. They had started construction. What they did next, they, they began to awake some people who would fight the uh, There are many issues that look like San Balat and Tobia. These San Balat and Tobia represent demons. Every time you begin to intercede maybe for yourself or for somebody else, you will begin to get challenges. The devil will awaken demons. But you ought to do one thing. You're not supposed to swear. These men kept on focusing. They kept on constructing. Even though things are given up. Even though Tobia and Sanballat They kept on with the work of construction. They never lost their focus. As children of God, if you're praying for something. Even when you feel certain things are fighting Never against you. you. Even when you feel some things are fighting Never against you. you. Even when you hear so many voices that are trying to discourage you. you. Stick to the work of construction. Stick to the work and go forward. What Nehemiah did was to pray. He beseeched the Lord. And after prayer, he got his men. He told them, let us construct. Let us not be swayed. Even though Sanabala we shall not be swayed. We shall continue constructing. Many of God's children will lose no, focus. No, 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 you, you hear this one saying this about the issue no, of no, you, you hear someone else saying something no, else and then you lose trust. And probably God would have answered Demons you. Demons are going to fight you whether you like it or not. Things that discourage you are always going to be there. But you need to learn one thing that you are more powerful than the demons. When, when you continue reading downwards, you'll see Nehemiah telling them, do not be afraid. It implies they can't be afraid. And probably they wanted to give up on the work. They lost almost their energy. But Nehemiah told the men that do not be afraid of them. Let us continue with the construction. The biggest weapon that hits at a, an intercessor is fear. Maybe God has manifested to you about an issue you're praying for. But when you see it is very big. Then you see it is even impossible. Then you develop fear. Stand upon your feet. And, and say no matter what it is. I have to pray until I come to accomplishment of 
Nehemiah issue. Yakola. That is what Nehemiah did. Nale he stuck on to the boy. Nakiriza. He trusted. Nagambo And he said, no matter what it Nenda takes, I am going to fight for my brothers. I am going to fight for them no matter what it is. Maybe go, you are praying for your family. You are praying for your family. You are praying for your family. You are praying for your job. But you see things worsening. You see things getting bad. Every time you pray, things worsen. Be, Be the right intercessor to say that no matter what it is, I will continue to pray. You must not be filled with fear. If it means fighting for a brother in fight for them. If it means fighting for your friend, If it means fighting for your church, If it means fighting for your pastors, please go ahead. If it means fighting for your country, please go ahead. What you listen to is not what is important. People spoke so many big words about that there is another virus that is coming and it kills immediately. But intercessors kept on praying in every part of the country. Did God Mukama change yachusa. or not? The truth is he Ata changed. And it's still changed. We, we cast things very far and they go. As an intercessor, you're not supposed to pay attention to the news. You can listen to that. But you're not supposed to believe in it. You need to have a strong no And say no matter what it is, the situation is going to change. Amen. 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 Let us fight for our families. Let us fight for our brothers. Let us fight for our people. Wherever you are, you are an intercessor. An intercessor does not only pray for their issues. Please pray for other people. When you pray for other people, God will answer you. If you are only praying for yourself, that is a selfish answer. An intercessor is not supposed to be selfish. Please wish well even for other people. And when you need of certain things, please also make sure you pray for others. When you pray for others, you realize that you will also get the things that you need. And God will work for you. If you haven't yet considered, pray for others to have houses. God will give you houses. If you want so and so, so you are still sitting at home. Pray for your neighbor's children. And you will see what the Lord will do. As I wind up in this time, God answers prayer. Once an intercessor, you do the intercession. God answers prayer. God answers an intercession. Did these guys complete the wall construction? Though they got challenges, they were able to construct the wall to completion. It was completed. So what we ought to do, let us work out ourselves. Let us prepare ourselves very well for whatever we want. The third issue, you are not supposed to lose control. Stick to what you pray for. And what you're praying for. Even when you see things worsening. Pray. There is a certain person who is praying for. This person had sent me a prayer request. Prayer request. Prayer request. 
this was about her workplace. Say, this person said, pray for me, my work is not going well. I, I got some other three people and we prayed. But when we were interceding for the work of this person, I called this person. I called this person. And asked, how has been work today? Do you know what this person said? This person said today things were terrible. I told this person, don't worry, believe God is real. Don't be afraid. We prayed again. We interceded again. I just said we are prayed. I continued, I fired up this session. I called this person again. This person said, I worked a little bit. I, I said, don't be afraid, you're going to make money. The third day. This person said, Kenyans came over and they placed an order for things. And this person even now and Began to put together, boxes, box. put together boxes. 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 Put together then this person said she got a little confused and began to even ask the customers, did I also give you this? Then they said, yes, you gave us that, but you gave more. And even the, some of the items that were demanded, she did not have at the store. This person called me that day and had made a lot of profit. That day. And this person also raised the faith. Eh, eh, and said, oh, surely things will work out. And now this lady can say, things may refuse to be. But still they will work. Children of God. Things may not work out today. But tomorrow it will not be the same. Maybe tomorrow it will not work out. But it will not spend a whole year like that. Maybe it can even take a while. But still they will ask. As an intercessor. Believe that all things are possible. Amen. Do not lose focus. Many people lose focus. But what causes them to lose focus is the situation that they see. Let us read the last scripture in Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 65. Verse 24. Verse 24. Amen. That uh, it, so it shall be. Before they call, I will answer. Even as they are still speaking, I will answer. I will answer. It shall be. 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 As an intercessor, you may have interceded for some issues over time, and the, but then after a given period of time, God will just begin to That you will just tap <inaudible> your <God's inaudible> But you will just see him working on this, working on that, and yet you pray <inaudible> for <inaudible> for <inaudible> That I, before they call, I will answer. <inaudible> and even when they are just speaking, I will listen. When you're still speaking, the Lord will hear you. He will answer you. Even before, as you are still speaking, He will answer you. As an intercessor, as an intercessor you need to speak on. Maybe you have abandoned some Nayo prayers, gendo and kuzira, but you begin to see the results. You are not supposed to lose track. Stick to the Work. In the name of our Lord Jesus. The wall of Jerusalem was constructed. It was, the temple was built. And it stood. For, because of intercessors. Let us pray. Almighty Father, we want to for the intercessor worldwide. Those who are interceding for different 
Maybe some are for places, some for, homes, business, some for their businesses, some for their children, some for issues some for the nations where they are. Some are in other countries. They are over there. They want to return. But they have no way of being. Holy Spirit, help them. Wherever they are, help them. Help them not to sway over what they want to do. Give them the energy to stick to what they have to do. And to stand up to the energy. We pray for each and every one. Do good to each and every one. Please them. Surprise them. Help them. And those who are lost faith, encourage them that they will give them the grace. Enable them in the name of Jesus. And everybody says, Amen. 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 May God bless you. Thank you for listening. Amen.